Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is not only about one stock, but this video is about three stocks. So in the first one, we will be covering WISH, ticker symbol WISH. The next one is SRNE. And the third one is TRCH. And I think these three stocks are a very good ca ideal candidate for this coming week because they are doing really good action. So I'm going to start with WISH and definitely this if you find this video useful please do not forget to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel i also have a community you can always go and join and it costs only 10 cents per day so you will get some early news some chart setup and also if you have any question then members will always get some benefit so first of all wish if you see even though friday everything was red but that thing ended up 1.5 percent right and this is not the first time i'm talking about wish if you go to my channel I have been talking Wish for so many videos, so many videos. So if you want to know more about Wish, please go to the checklist and look at Wish, why I'm so bullish on Wish. So just showing you the five day chart here, you see it was around 7.78, then it doubled, it went to 15, almost 15, came down, but it is moving sideways. And also it has been moving within a uh, pattern. So if you are swing trader, definitely you can target this because last time you see it was around 11 and we were talking about holding the ten dollar floor it held the ten dollar floor floor then we said about 11 then it was holding 11 from 11 it went to 12 then again coming down but again if you love swing trading this is a very good one if you want you can make some money at the same time in my community we have a higher price target so we are holding and holding and holding so let's look at the chart now so definitely we know what happened and this is a stock which which is heavily shorted and if you go to nasdaq you can always see it has a very high price target so in nasdaq it says it has a strong buy look at the names good names here and their price target is 18.6 dollar with a high of 24 and the low of 12 meaning that at least if the average is 18 then yeah from 18 it can go that's a good one right and even the low is 12 and what is the current price the current price is 11.44 so even looking at the thing this is currently at the lower price target but again if it goes to 18 that will be the previous run we had so what i want to show here first of all look at the big picture right it went to 32 came down shorted correction so many things happened 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 then it found a floor around this area 7.68 and on this area then you see the squeeze happen the green squeeze happened and we have been making money in our channel and all the subscriber we have in our channel we made it we also talk about pre-market we target so we know now the thing what is happening so it has been making lower highs at the same time it has been making higher lows and it has been forming a pattern um, and you can talk about a bull flag channel you can talk about bull pennant so basically what happens it, it normally they get a massive run up right so they get a massive run up um the pennant if uh yeah i think this is a good one so sometimes they call it a flag pulse of a flag pole then a flag triangular then there is a breakout and if you look at here same thing a flag pole yes it came down but it has been moving a few things can happen it can come here it can break the line and it can come below or it can push up it comes there and it break the resistance of 12 and then it breaks above last time we were talking about 12 dollar resistance it happened and from 12 it went all the way to 16.6 this area so again the chart is looking good it has been making higher lows so things are very interesting so you have to um, look at the price which way it is going is it coming down or it is going up but i'm very bullish this thing will go up because this is a very good company like ebay amazon so it's an online platform it has a high price target it has a good volume at the same time it was heavily shorted so if you think it will go up then definitely a good thing but let's look at some support and resistance from this area so first of all as i told around 12 area is a very important one why 12 was the previous support then it became a resistance then you see here 
12 was our resistance came down we tried to break 12 we put on again we tried again we are pushing 12 but the good thing is it is coming down but it is not coming down like before so the movement is less and less so maybe if we, it will go up again and once 12 is broken that will be a nice breakout this thing will fly or it might come down again then this thing can fly and also looking at the one hour rsi moving sideways nothing bad now if it can't break 12 the other thing i talked about 11 and why 11 is so important look around this area look around this area so it was a support here then it broke from 11 then again you see so many candles touching 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 so again 11 and definitely we have a support a bottom support around 10 which is very very important so if it comes down then definitely 11 and 10 will be your bottom support but on the other hand if 12 is broken what can happen this thing can fly baby this thing can fly so definitely it can go around 13.3 you see some kind of rejection here before that it was a support and what about more let's see because i love wish i love wish and the next one will be around 15 dollar it could not break 15 and also it 15 was the previous support so let's go step by step so the current price if it comes down to at 11 and it bounced back from 11 that's the good thing that 11 is the new support right if 11 is broken it can come to 10.5 or even 10 dollar i'm just buying more shares that's the thing i'm doing on the other hand if you are a swing trader or a momentum trader or a day trader wait for this to break 12 dollar because once 12 is broken i think this will will run towards 13.3 15.1 or 16. for this particular one i'm looking at around 13 to 15 for near term i'm not saying it will go back to 30 like before but again this is how i'm targeting again it depends on you how you want to trade you want to do a day trading then yeah we can we do day trading using the call option you can do some swing trading at the same time you can also do long on this particular one the next one i want to talk about srne i'm, I'm going to start with the nasdaq buy rating which gives strong buy and look at the price this is 25 dollar is the average price target with a high of 30 and a low of 19. so 25 and low of 19 look at the price today the price today is around 8.5 even though if it goes to the lower estimate that will be doubling your money from nine dollar it would go to 18 if it goes to 25 almost three times your money now look some something here right and again um jp from this particular uh, channel and again the member uh, thanks to you because i know you have been mentioning srn for some time and i think this is a good setup so i, I should talk so thanks again and the members here they loves to bring stock in the community board we have they talk about some stock so definitely this is a good community again you can join um, you can at least subscribe or you can join and you can get some added benefit so the two black line here you see how things are moving so that's the bottom floor 5.93 you can say six dollar is goes up around 19 comes down to six again it goes up to 12 again comes down so from 6 from 6 to 18 three times again from 6 to 12 two times again from 6 it went to 16 you see almost uh, 250 percent again it comes down so it has been moving but the thing is the six dollar is the bottom on the other hand it has been making lower highs so maybe the next time we will move maybe we will just go around 13 or 14 dollar and we will see a pullback other than that if it comes down maybe it can come and retest around seven or six dollar area or if it goes up i think 10.5 would be a resistance why you see some kind of resistance here 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 and also it was a support before but once 10.5 is broken i think 12.5 would be the resistance and then 13.84 so this is the overall thing you can have a look but one important thing I want to show you is from Fintel, look at SRNE short volume ratio or you can say short interest, 15%. Again, this is high, 15%. Things can happen. The final thing I want to talk about SRNE, I'm just going to move to a daily chart and I'm going to show you the RSI. The RSI is currently at 55. It is coming down. Also the MACD. So again, um, do not be too excited. This thing can come down again and maybe it can retest around $7 area. 
from 8.6 it can come down and always make sure if any kind of correction is coming you always set a limit buy order around six dollar if it comes down to six you just buy there might be another correction coming so again uh, stay tuned and always lock your profit using some trailing stop limit and also you can have some limit buy order if it comes down just buy 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 okay so the next one and the last one for this particular video is trch torchlight energy and we know what has been going on with torchlight even this last friday it was up 16 percent the current price is 6.69 and just looking at the chart what you can see here just looking at the chart we can say that this is the top around uh, so just looking at the last day of chart even though it was 16 percent up look at where it is sitting now around 6.69 it tried to break 6.69 around 10 o'clock in the morning came down and end of the day looking very very strong and it may be at the pre-market it will be high and this thing will push even higher and higher but this thing can explode on um next monday or tuesday and there are some things i want to show you here because look at the short interest 26 percent it has a very high short interest and an ideal candidate for a short squeeze and not only that i want to show you more uh let me show you the twitter page so basically on june 11 they talk that it is confirmed so they will march with meta materials and you see another post just 40 minutes ago it came that upcoming week short squeeze and they talk that so there will be a dividend um on 22nd of june so hopefully when um the market will open monday this thing can still run for some time so monday and tuesday this thing can run and people normally hold their shares still um the dividend day. so between 22nd and 24th stock must be held to be qualified so if you are planning to have the dividend that definitely you should be holding your stock at least up to 24th but at the same time keep that in mind if this thing can go a lot maybe it goes to ten dollars something lock your profit just do not wait for the dividend because it might come down and you will lose all the money so again play with caution and we know about the shorts and everything and they are only 20 million away from a 1 billion market cap that is one thing but if you do not know on june 17 there was another news that they filed for 100 million common stock offering so keep that in mind also keep that in mind so now let's go back to the chart again so 6.7 looking like a very important level i think the next level is around six dollar i would say because it was a resistance then it became a resistance and now six is a support and what else we see from last days of action maybe around 4.9 or 5 could be another area now let's go back to the chart so showing you a one hour chart you can see how this thing was forming a u-shape recovery so u-shape recovery was formed around 3.9 then a big gap up here right then the blue line is the next support and why it was a resistance here around what's the 5.8 5.9 area so it was a resistance before and look at the last few days of action even though there was a gap up but it is holding the 4.9 or you can say 5 i don't want to be too precise but let's say 4.9 or 5 so this thing is holding the floor if because if the blue line is broken this thing will come towards four dollar again but this is how it is holding at the same time look at the top wonderful chart setup for a day trading or swing trading so if this thing break and it goes even higher and higher let's look at 6.76 i think that was the pre-market high so again if 6.7 uh, is broken then this thing will fly for sure otherwise it can come down again and i will just add one more line here so you know for day trading what we are thinking around 5.6 area again it is completely possible it can come down and bounce off that 5.6 and run again so at the bottom we have 5.6 we have 4.9 and we have 3.9 also if there are some people who love to short then that is another story because once this line is broken the red line will be the next drop point right so again look at the chart lock your profit you know the support resistance but again this thing can blow up again on monday most probably because of the dividend at the same time short is squeeze and, and so on right and the merger happened so you know the plan so anyway my friend is getting a long video and if you want me to make individual video on any of this let me know trch looking like a good one i might make another video on trch and maybe srne and definitely i have been making videos on which again like the video subscribe to my channel and again join the community just pay 
three dollar per month and get some added benefit that others don't get so again thank you very much for watching this particular video take care and peace